um, one brother who whose name was Francesco, he became Muslim. He was uh, his uh, his Muslim name is Isa, which is uh, uh, Jesus name in Arabic. Okay. Right. Okay. So well, you are saying uh, uh, you are more inclined to Buddhism, right? Philosophically, yes. Mm, 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 mm. So you see, Buddhism is not really a, a religion. A religion. Because it's, uh, yeah, it has eight ways, right? Yeah. Do you follow all eight ways? No, I I, I aspire. Okay, you have to, okay. And uh, again, I, 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 I tend not to take it too probably literally, that's why I cannot define myself as Buddhist. Right, okay. I see, I see. I don't, you know. I see, I see. I, I, the way to try to explain human nature first to me is Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so I, I don't, I really, I, I was raised a Catholic, mm -hmm. a Catholic school, so that was my, my cultural environment. But they really struggle with the concept of a, a creator, for example, or a supernatural being. It, it, I, I don't have it in me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, 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 okay. it doesn't what, work for me. Yeah. Really, I tried. Mm -hmm. but what, what we say is the belief of creator or knowledge of the creator is intrinsic, means it's a built in package within you. The idea of disregarding the creator is come from external factor but intrinsically a human being born with knowing there is a maker so it's the family society however you know your society has an influence your family has an influence your friend has an influence and we cannot de-recognize them because of this influence we actually tend to follow their way than the intrinsic way but it, it, the same could be said of the no, I would say this this intuitiveness can be proven. Oh man, yeah, that's a difficult one, isn't it? No, I'll, I'll tell you why. Like imagine if you are in, in plane and if uh, the, the pilot announced that we just hit on the heavy surface and we are going to collapse and we're all going to die. Do you think people will just sit there, live alone and doing nothing? Probably most of them are going to pray. Not most of them. All, All of them will pray to a higher being. What does it tell you? It tells me that human beings, including myself, we have the An incline need. Correct. But correct. The fact that, I, correct. The, the fact that I, I need something or I want something to exist doesn't make it real. No. The question is, question is, you know it would not come intrinsically from you unless it was given to you before. Now imagine, if you never had a money, if you never had a money, would you ask for money ever? If the money is not required. Because the money concept no, is not there. I agree. You see, so this is the, this is, this is the counter narrative of this idea that no, because of the need we are calling. Because look, the essence of worship is that creator doesn't need us, we need the creator. Do you see my point? I do. If I, do. I and you, Antonio, right? Antonio Aziz, we both doesn't exist. It will not belittle the maker. It will not harm him, not increase him or decrease him. Yes. But we need his help. Do we not need his help? I think that we all feel comforted by the fear and the knowledge, okay, of knowing that we have something to come back to, protecting us, taking care of us. That's, that's, that's human. No? You know, that's you know, this is, a, this is, an, a, Antonio, this is a good point you touched upon. You know, when you say satisfaction and comfort, it, this is something you cannot touch and you cannot, it's not a, a, like a hand is something untouchable intangible right so these things the human human are made up of tangible and intangible love compassion yes. you know sorrow comfort these are the things we don't see we cannot disregard them these exist in our reality because we experience those Agreed. right so therefore when i'm talking about these things this is not a random coincidence or it it generate through our motion, no. But we 
fact that I experienced something even very strong mm. uh, love uh, here at home, very strong feeling. This doesn't make this feeling real in the tangible way. I experienced that. There, there is for me, from my own human experience, but I experienced it. Mm. So that doesn't mean something in my head, in my, in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, even if I, I feel very, very strong about it. Yeah. So, for example, in in, even in Christianity, back in the Middle Ages, uh, many philosophers and theologists wanted to prove the existence of God, mm. the Christian God in this case. But okay. Let, let, let me give you the definition of God in Islam, and then we will evaluate or analyze how that connects with the human mind. So we believe, Bismillah rahman rahim in the name of Allah, the most merciful and the most compassionate, right? And the most gracious. We say, Qul hu Allahu Say, Allah is one. One, not three in one, not four in one, not two in one, only one. One and nothing else, only one. Allahu Samad. Allah is the eternal refuge. He is self-sufficient. The third line third and fourth line, which is he neither begets nor born. Means he doesn't have a father, neither he has a son. You cannot find any comparable to, uh, to him anything. Means you cannot compare anything with God. Right. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. I'll come to your point now. Now, when Whenever the, if you, you would agree some of the things within yourself, you love, your compassion, and you are trying to find out whether these are real or are they surprising. No, no, no. No, okay. So, I believe that everything I do experience in my own being doesn't inherently have the need for reality. Not necessarily real in the sense of real. It's something which is within myself that I do experience, but again, this doesn't make anything that okay. objectively I, real. Yeah, yeah. So let's establish uh, one at a time. So, do you believe there is a higher being or not? I don't. Okay. So, do you say there is something and I don't know? I would, I would like. Okay. I would like. Okay. That would be very, very comforting to understand. But Rather than using comforting, less objectively, or less without bias, let's look okay. into if there is a okay. creator or not. Let me, let me, and what are the? To that yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. So if we talk about belief, mm. you ask me, do I believe? Mm. That belief is not the realm of insight. You cannot prove. That something that you cannot see or touch exists. You can believe. And I do completely respect. You know, belief and disbelief, neither can be proven. You can't prove or you can't disprove. Both of them. It doesn't just apply to. Yeah. No. Do you I see? Agree. I agree. No. Right. Do, so. Do you know Bertrand Russell? Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, you know the example of the hippo. Mm -hmm. So the guy says this. The guy was amazing. Yes. But this guy intellectually mm -hmm. sharp. Okay. I'm going to tell you that there is a hippo between here and the moon. You cannot see it, so it's too small. The telescope cannot see it, but it's there. What do you think? I think it's a very simple thing. So if, if we make a scenario, if we make a scenario that's not conceivable in the human mind, that means I am creating a false premise. I am creating a false premise to disbelieve in. What I would say to you, if you look at, at the rational reasoning within the surrounding of ourselves, yeah. how natural laws, the things are working. If you take them an example, then you surely lead to the creator, rather than creating an absurd scenario to disbelieve. Let me tell you why. It, Let me tell you why. We hope yourself and I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because would you say you want to be objective, number one, and number two, consistency. When I say consistency is, 
how do we do deal with our day to day life? We apply our rational reasoning, right? Two plus two is four. When you cross the road, you look right and left. When you eat food, you make sure it doesn't go, uh, go off, right? So all of the things here, every day to day life, what you are using is the rational reasoning you are applying. Yes. Yeah? Yes. The sensory reasoning. Now I'm telling you, if you have this on your, you have. Now apply it for God existence, right? I'll give you three questions, simple. And what Allah tells us, these three questions. Allah said, Am khuliqu min ghayri shayn, am hum al khaliqu, am khalaqu samawati wal ardi wal layukun. Where the creator of nothing, or the, the creator of them, themselves, or rather than, no, uh, or uh, rather than or certain. Now question back, number one. Can something come from nothing? Uh, no. Of course, now. Can self-creation possible? No. By default, then you must believe in something. Because there is no third option. I, I, I struggle to accept this, but it's your point. No, 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 I say it. One thing I struggle to accept, Brother Antonio, and one thing I have the rational reasoning that I day, use it every day to day life. I want that standard to tell me where are you leading to. Without, you know, if you have that push, you no, know, I'm going to disbelieve, and then you make the proposition, then you will not believe. Well, do, do you see my point? I do. But if you say, no, I am rational, whether if it is leads to me, I will accept it. You see. Now, the third proposition is by default, there is indicating there is a maker, a being. No, the thing is going for me, uh, we all are the product of our environment. I was born in a, in a family, in a, in a society, in a city, where you know, Christianity uh, was uh, the norm. Hmm. And that's how it was, with the idea brother Antonio I, I wanted to add you one thing here when you brought this argument right this is actually goes along with the second argument I said Allah said I'm humul are you the creator of yourself or did the society created themselves Let me finish. what I'm trying to say is that so they cannot be a maker these are the reality no, exist in our yeah who grow up with the idea of the maker, the idea of the God. In my case, it was a Christian God. If I were born uh, where you were born, well, yeah. on the country, it would be different. But if you ask the very same question, for example, to a human being who yeah. uh, 2,000 years ago, before Islam, before Christianity, before mm. faith mm. 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 emerged, they did not have this question. We find this point no, I, I think let, let me let, because we are born into no, I, I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll tell you why, brother Antonio, with due respect to you, that every the, since the dawn of the creation of mankind, there are reasoning given to human beings. The reason why I say apply your rational reasoning, not the external one, external one can be science, evolution, and all these factors, right. I am saying if you apply your internal one, which you can testify that it does exist, you can apply it. And I am saying if you apply these tools, even if the first man, when he would drink water in a desert, he would not say, he would not say, oh, this thing is randomly comes out. No, he would say, where does that drink come from? Where did I come from? So these, right, on that note, Brother Antonio, that the, the innate reasoning was given by our maker because the reality we see, this reality comes into existence with the basic principle that its self-creation cannot be possible. And that's why, you know, Allah telling us, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he created you. He knows where, how you think. And therefore, he put a reasoning so that you know this is from otherwise. How did creator know that which one argument you will reject? I will think about this. I need some time to think about this. Do you see my point? Like imagine 
Adam who was born in the middle of a desert. I'm creating a scenario here. And he suddenly found a mobile phone. Do you think Adam would say, this is a random creation? Or he would say, there is a, a maker there? No, I agree. It must be coming from somewhere. Exactly. So look, these tools. Now, since the creation of mankind, God left sign for you to believe. Like, for example, Adam seen the sun, the moon, the star, the galaxy. If you go to any country, you will not find they don't see the sunlight. They don't see the moonlight, unless you are in Norway. But you see other sign of rain and yeah. all this, right? So all these natural phenomena are there for us to observe and so that we can connect. Where does that come from? Just imagine, think about your oxygen. When you release oxygen, sorry, when you take oxygen, it comes from the tree. And when you release the carbon dioxide, how come tree is so designed that it's taking off the carbon dioxide? Because we emerge no. from this world. And no. that's the only way we could No, no, because you already agreed the first premise, there is a maker. But you see. Where you have a maker, when you establish your maker, suddenly you can't say, look, no, oh, I don't believe the creation of the maker. As if like, you know, you accept me, but you don't accept my bag. No, I see what you mean. But I'm coming with a bag as a full total packet. You, do you see my? See. So, the, so bro, my brother Antonio, Islam is, is a religion which directly speaks to the mind. When I say mind, what does it? Islam, in the Quran, one of the passages of the Quran is say, it's not the eye blind, it's the heart blind. Does it mean Islam literally telling you? Quran doesn't tell you it's not the eye blind. It's talking about that even if someone sees through the eye, but they, they don't, don't resonate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So Allah in the Quran, every other line in the Quran, Allah talks about the natural phenomenon. And Allah tells us our own creation and the creation of the universe. And Allah is pointing us, do reflect, do reflect on the creation. And do you think I created everything aimlessly? Or rather I give you a purpose. And then Allah tells us purpose. In the Quran. In his book. And Allah tells. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَاءِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That I have not created mankind and jinnkind other than to worship me. And what is the purpose of the, of the maker? Okay. That's it. So Allah said to worship God. Means. Brother Antonio. Since. You know. All of your life, you enjoyed some free blessings, blessing. Past of your own life, you didn't choose to be born. You were given a life to enjoy this world. You taken free oxygen since birth. You, your heart is beating perfectly since birth. You en enjoy uh, uncountable number of favors. Right. All of those given to free. Now, all of those things, you cannot grow yourself. Or you do not own yourself. The body that you have is, is you know, it is you know, under control, but you don't own it. There is a difference between owning and controlling. At the moment, it was everything was given free. My mind's instruction, my hand is listening, right? So all was given free so that I can exercise in this world. At the same time, Creator send us an external guidance. Because through the, our own desire, we do not know what is our purpose. Someone would say, I wanted to be a dancer. Someone would say, I want to be a football player. I want to be a singer. So we will have a cause. So they are rather for, rather, God decided, he created mankind. Then he revealed the purpose. Why our existence in this universe? Why I am here? Where I am going? Where I am heading towards? What will happen after death? Will there be life after death? Will there be paradise? Will there be hell? All of those things, information, existential question cannot be found through our rational reason. But one thing for surety, through our reasoning, we know there is a maker. And then Allah defines his seeds. Allah saying, the being you think is not in the creation. It's not stone, statue, or animal. It's rather the, uh, he's, the creator is unlike the creation. Imagine Antonio, if I make a book, I am unlike the book. I am not like the book. So the creator of the heavens and the earth 
is unlike the creation. Exactly, unlike the creation, right? So therefore, Islamic concept goes aligned with the natural mind that given you. It's like, I'll tell you a, a good analogy. Imagine you have a group, a set of keys, 20 keys, and there is a lock there. And there is only one key for unlock the lock. Yeah? Now, the moment the, you use the right key, what does it do? It's open. Open. Same way, when Al the creator of the heavens and the earth message come to you, it unlock the heart. The whole point of rejection is, do you know why? Because you do not find the right one. The moment you find the right one, it's opening. Just like you agreed with me with the first premise that a man on a desert never say he doesn't use science at that time, did he? No. He doesn't have any external tool available. But through his own reasoning available, and he confirmed that through this reasoning, yes, I may exist. The phone exists. Water is exist. So therefore, a creator exists. Listen, we talk about those things, I need to think about that. Yes. Yeah. And I, I wanted to give you a copy of the Quran. And now we're reading. I'll give you a copy of the Quran, Anthony. Yeah. And this is the uh, booklet on the Quran, because I want you to, you know, think about it and you know read this open no, no, any other page open it, no, we read it. I promise and you. I promise and brother Antonio all I would say to you and then this is are the intellectual reasoning right but we have other compelling evidence and proof I'll mention to you few and you wanted to think this Quran was been told that this is the only book on the face of the earth religious book which been preserved by memory Allah revealed the book and Allah said, I will guard it. Means this book is memorized by millions. So that God guidance for everyone available. So no, no human being say, look, I didn't have the correct guidance. So we have that guidance. And it has many miracle in there. Many miracle means there is a challenge in the Quran that this is a God book. If you think this is not a God book, then produce a book like it. If you can't produce a book like it, make it 10 chapter like it. And then it was told to make one chapter like it. Means there is a linguistic challenge there. And the whole humanity, since the dawn of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came, after they till 1500 nearly odd years, that the, 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 the linguistic scholar, the theologian, the scholar, they looked into the challenge of the Quran. And they come to a conclusion that this cannot be imitable. What does that tell you? If human being cannot make it, and if we have the raw material present, and still you cannot make it. But it can work. Exactly. Now, the source is, we're going back to, the book declared that it is from the Tanzilum Mir Rabbil Alameen. This is the revelation from Master of the Universe. And Allah said, this guide, this book will open the heart and mind so that you can connect with that. Just like the key with the locker. On that note, I, I will promise you that I will read it. And I, I ask God, may I God guide you to Islam, Anthony. You are a very lovely person, and I, I really feel that good conversation. And you know, and and I really appreciate that. You know, take Thank your time. And your time. And time. Keep yeah. totally this. Your, yeah. your skill. You can and skill. as well, uh, I enjoyed the conversation. I hope you know. What What's your so far? What's your take so far? If you say in one line, what have you taken? You make me think. So I need to know. Uh, All the best. Look after yourself. Take care. Thank you. Uh, uh, Brother Antonio said he will think, and I ask Allah to guide him. Uh, please make dua for him. Assalamualaikum.